Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the vlog. So as the accessories start to roll out for the DJI Spark, I am looking to stay ahead of them and give you the coolest and newest ones that come out. Um, this is going to be a short video because I only have one so far, but I think it's probably one of the coolest ones. Not coolest, but maybe one of the more necessary ones or what they would call the um, must-have accessories for any drone. And that is a gimbal guard. So here's one that I found online. And it's made by a company called Sunny Life. Well packed, nice, I mean, tiny little box, but well packed box. They could have easily just thrown this in a little plastic bag and sent it to me. It came from China, um, and it got to me pretty fast. I think it only took about seven days to get to me. I ordered it off of eBay. And here it is. There it is, if I can get the focus on that. Let's get the spark out and see how it fits and see if it fits in without falling off. So, all right, so I still have the ND filter that I modified on the spark. There's no snap, but it's definitely on there. So there you go. I'm not gonna force it, but just to give you an idea what it looks like. Got the focus on the side, on the bottom. So holds pretty tight. No issues with it coming off. In fact, trying to pull it off, it doesn't exactly just come right off. So there's probably no potential for this to come off inside of your case. This is probably one of the must-haves. If I ever bought a drone that didn't come with the gimbal guard, it's probably the first thing I'm going to protect. Um, the gimbal, as you know, for the Spark is pretty rugged. It's not flimsy like the Mavic gimbal. It's, it's, it's mounted. It's attached somehow. It doesn't really move around. It moves this way and it moves this way, but it doesn't really move that much this way. There is a little bit of spring there because there's some kind of dampener in it, but even still, putting this inside the case, so when I put this inside this case like this, if I can get it, you can see this in the camera, and you're shoving the, see that? See how the gimbal hits that little piece right there? When you're shoving it in there, there's probably definitely potential for you damaging your gimbal. So let's try to see if it fits in a molded case like this with the gimbal guard on. A lot of you guys probably already went out and bought these $20 cases to replace your, um, either if you didn't have a case because you didn't buy a fly more combo or you bought another case to replace your fly more combo because you couldn't put the propeller guards and your uh, gimbal, not your gimbal, or your um, charge power supply in there. Let's see if it actually fits this time. This piece is hitting, but that's nothing. Unless you got one of these that, that's the harder foam, you probably don't have to carve away or shave off some foam. But this one doesn't quite fit in there with that gimbal guard on it. I mean, it fits, but it's it's a tight squeeze. So if you can see that right there, it's it's really squeezed in there now. But if you know, I'm gonna protect that gimbal. All it takes is a razor blade to fix that. So let's get this all folded in. Get the props in there. Press down on it. And boom. There you go. So if you're looking for a gimbal guard, I got this off of eBay. I think I paid $3 for it, shipped from China, and um, it got to me about seven days. So I'll leave the link for this one in the description below. I'll also leave the link for the one that I found on Amazon, which is a little bit different from this one, how this one has the profile that covers your your sensor, and then it's kind of shaped to cover your gimbal guard. The one on Amazon was more of a dome shape, so I like this one a little bit more than the dome shape because I know this one should fit in me currently the cases that are made that are shaped for the spark and the one with the dome where it sticks out a little bit, it may not fit. So I'll leave a description link for this one in the description. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the vlog, and I'll get back to you soon. Later, bye.